So today's meal is um, Mediterranean couscous. Not Mediterranean. What is it then? Middle Eastern style lamb Middle stew. Middle Eastern style lamb stew. <laughs> you just said this about four times. I know, but I chat. totally forget. Um, also, I, we haven't opened up this week's vlog. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Would you like to do it? <laughs> Hello, Hello and welcome to the vlog. I was going to do it. <laughs> well Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. Well <laughs> but it looks yummy, doesn't it? By the way, our discount code still applies. Yes. So go get yourself your discounted HelloFresh link in description. And it is worth every penny. It is. It's gorgeous. Go get it. Do it. Do it now. Go. Pause. Do it. Okay, so we have lots of cardboard to get rid of, taking it to the skip. We are at the house. Yes. It's been another day. We've had our hair chopped. Yes, we had our hairs chopped. I'll show you mine in a moment. But we need to go around the back because we've had some self-leveling stuff laid on the kitchen floor so that the rest of the floor can be laid the other half next week. So <laughs> we need to go in through the bifolds. So we brought our new TV and we bought a bracket for the wall. So that's there, ready to go on at some point. I don't know when. So let's have a look what's been done. Oh, oh, it's just there. Oh, I see. Right. <laughs> yeah, we thought there'd be more self-leveling stuff, but there's not. So it's just over where this was. And where the door was. And where the door was, because it goes up a little bit, so it needs to be level. So that self-leveling stuff, you pour it on, it does its business, and there you go. Um, oh, and over there as well. Oh, yeah. So we can see all that. So this is the kitchen right now. It's quite nice, actually, with that stuff in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, so we have to move the dishwasher and the wine cooler over here to make space in the living room. I'm not going to tread on this. Um, but if I just show you in there, we've made quite a lot of space in there because that's going to be the sort of workroom temporarily for the, for the cutting of the rest of this floor. So that's what's going to happen in here. Um, I think we showed yesterday we've got heating. So that's all been done. That's all been done in there. Um, oh, ooh. Here yeah, so we've done lots of areas that need the self-leveling stuff done. Mm. I want to show people my hair. <laughs> oh, your Tintin flick. My Tintin flick is amazing. With entirely natural blonde bits. They are entirely natural. Mm. Entirely natural, people. Uh -huh. It's just maintenance. Okay, ascending the stairway to heaven. Let's have a look. So there should be, oh yes, this, has had, this room has now had the first coat of Ooh. the top paint, which is again in the sale white, in case you were wondering. Um, so yeah, this is, in case you were wondering, this is the colour we've been using, so white. So basically, every room, as we said before, has had two coats of basic white. Yeah, and, and then, this. yeah, two top coats. This is the first top coat. It looks so bright. It feels really warm in here. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a hot day today. Uh, but this looks incredible, and we're really happy. Um, it just look amazing. Also, take a look at the garden, because that is changing on Monday because we are having um, five days of landscaping doing. So that will change. So yeah, we've still got a bit of a mess in the middle here, but it's, you know, work in progress and all that. So let's have a look. I think there's been a coat in the second bedroom as well. Yes. Yes. Ooh, this looks nice. Yes, it looks much brighter. Yeah, it's such a nice color, because it's kind of... It's a warm it's white. It's white, but it's warm, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, it's probably got a hint of grey in it. Um, but in this light, to, because of the lights at the back, the sun's at the back, it looks quite, quite milky. Yeah. Which is it's lovely. Fun. Yeah, loving this. And it's been painted in here for its first coat as well, yeah. which is going to be our study. Yay. Um, so, yeah. Because we now have a moving day, don't we? We Yay. revealed in, uh, in the last vlog, we have a moving date and we have a date when we're having carpets fitted. So we are rocking and rolling. So let's talk garden. <laughs> Take a last look at this garden because it's going to be different. So we've hollowed out a little bit here because of, of levels. Yeah. Um, so this is where we're going to have a patio. It will be level and any drainage will go into the drain. So that's fine. Um, we are going to have a step in the middle that lines up with the middle bifold panel. And there'll be a path leading to another paved area in the same slabs. So we've got like several different seating areas. Eventually the shed will be changed to a greenhouse. Um, we'll have some space over here for some um, garden meadow. There'll be borders for plants. Um, there'll be things growing up the hedge to make it look nice and green. Because um, I'm not particularly keen on just 
bare fence panel, to be honest. Uh, but it does give you that privacy and security for the cats. So that was why we kind of went for it, really. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really lovely. So I can't wait to go plant shopping. I know. <sighs> be amazing. And we're going to try and reuse as many slabs as we can at the front of the house because we're having the driveway done too. Um, and there's just lots of things to skip and get rid of. But this is going to look a lot different in literally... This time next week? Yeah, this time next week. There'll still be bits to do. Uh, it won't be completely finished. We'll still need the uh, gravel drive, well, all the, all the gravel dropping off and stuff. Um, but we'll almost be there. Hi everybody watching Eurovision and we're actually doing really, really well. And Matt is... I am stressed. I am pressed. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, so um, we'll see if we win for the first time in 25 years. It's amazing. Ah, oh my God, we've just won the jury vote. So now it goes to the public vote. Matt, what do you think? I can't cope. I can't cope. I can't. Ah, he's a mess. Hi everybody, it is Sunday and today we are expecting the delivery of our new sofa. We're a little bit early to the house because we've got a few jobs to do. We need to move some cardboard, um, but then it's coming in about an hour. Ish. Ish, and then we've got like a one hour window. We are tired. We are. We went to the gym yesterday. Matt did a new program. I can't feel my thighs. <laughs> I can't bend. I can't go upstairs. I'm ruined. It wasn't ruined. that. It was the goblin squats. So, do you like your new program? No, I hate it. Because I can't make <coughs> him do the ski machine. <sighs> How dare they make him do the ski That's machine. <laughs> uh, but the gym is really empty because it was the... FA Cup? FA Cup, I don't know. Mm. Football stuff. Sports. Um, so that was really nice to have it empty. And then it was Eurovision. Ah! And the UK came second. Was... We thought we were going to win. <laughs> yeah. Literally, because... Um, I was looking at where it's going to be hosted next year, how to get yeah. tickets. Because we, uh, the UK won the jury vote, but it was Ooh. the public vote. And obviously the public voted for a very worthy, deserving Ukraine. Yeah. Um, but I do still think that our song was the best. Yeah, I really do. Right, so we've cleared the space, ready for the sofa. Uh, the only issue is, obviously, we haven't had the skirting boards put in properly yet. So the sofa will have to be pulled out to have the new skirting boards put behind it. But other than that, it will be in its final place. We are obviously going to have to get some dust sheets as well, because uh, that will need protecting until we're ready to obviously use it. In fact, we probably should have um, have brought some today. I might actually ring my parents to see if they can bring some. Um, so we're obviously thinking about garden too, and we'd like enough space to obviously put a gazebo if ever we have a party or a function, so we can open the bifold doors, even in the winter, and put patio heaters on and have a bit of a party. So a three metre out by four metre gazebo would be enough, and we literally do just have enough space um, in this area here once it's complete. So just thought I would check that, so I've been measuring. You have to think about these things, don't you, people? Um, but yes, other than that, we are expecting arrival. Okay, so it's here. <laughs> and we have had our sofa from next and we are gonna bring it around the back through the bifolds. Okay, but we have not obviously had our skirting boards fitted, so we're gonna ask them to fit it in the middle of the room, um, just so we can have the skirting boards fitted and then it can be pushed in place. Okay, there it is. <laughs> well, part of it anyway, because <laughs> it is a, a nice L-shaped one. That's it. Yay, we have our sofa coming. Well, hey, look at that. Okay, sofa has been delivered and it fits just perfectly. <laughs> so we measured it so it would just fit in the gap in between where the toilet stack is. And oh, wow, <laughs> and it does. So that's really, really great. We love it. And the colour is a perfect colour match if I come this way. If you compare it with the... The units and the dark, it looks really, really beautiful. So we have a new sofa, we do. but I'm not letting anyone sit, sit, sit on it. But I'm not letting anyone sit on it just yet because we've got dirty workwear and we've been doing garden things. So we're going to have to come back to christen the sofa, but it does look really, really good. Wow. <gasps> we have a sofa. Ooh. We actually have a sofa. Um, so yeah, so the TV will be on the wall and it will just be... Really, really perfect. So we've had a bit of a jiggery pokery with the sofa and we've pushed it out a little bit. Uh, so we've left a bit of an air gap for the radiator and we can now get at the plug. <laughs> we have sat on it. We've decided just to sit on it. 
Um, <laughs> so I can now get the plugs. So I'm thinking of a lamp in the corner there. Uh, we do like our mood lighting. There, what do you think of it? Beautiful. It is. And the TV will be on the wall yeah. so that we can watch it. There we go. Okay, so I couldn't resist doing a video view <laughs> from the bifold doors. Okay, we're both sat on it now. <laughs> it's perfect. It it's is exactly glorious. what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. <clears throat> we can sit here. We can talk to whoever's doing the cooking. That'll be Matt. Um, <laughs> okay. We can and talk to whoever's doing the washing up. That'll be Elliot. <laughs> the dishwasher. Uh, <laughs> so, obviously, today, is that, it started off sunny, but it's actually quite a grey, overcast day. day. And look how bright it is in here. Yeah. Um, it's so, so bright. Somebody asked in the comments, did we have anyone to help us choose all the things? No, it was just us. It was literally just us. And the light looks nice above as well. Mm. So, perfect. See, so we're just closing the bifolds. There you go. They're really easy to do. They just sort of, you pull that bit back. Push that bit down. Yeah. And then do the other. There we go. So that's... Um, that's those shut. So with them, obviously we've been having them open today, but when you're actually sit, sat on the sofa with them shut, that's what they look like. Ooh. Which again looks, well, just looks like bifold doors. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see out, even when obviously yeah. it's a cold day or it's raining. It's nice. We have something new to show you. We have a new cat water fountain. <laughs> so we bought it really for the new house, but we've gone for the cat it. We've had... Cat it water fountains before they are good, the cats do use them. This one is the Pixie, uh, and we think it's nice and low down enough for Bo. And Rory likes a dripping tap, so this one's a little bit different because it's kind of cute. Matt's filling yeah. it with the thing. The filter, it does, does something cap the filter? Sorry, does something cap the filter? Oh, yes, the lid goes on, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Um, so we fill it, and then it kind of like well, you'll see in a moment when we turn it on, but Bo's already interested, and as you can see, it's a perfect height for Bo. Okay, so then this lid goes on the top to cover that, and the little um, fountain shoot goes in like that, and then we have the grand switch on. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, there you go. Hey. <laughs> so it makes like a little pool, and it's really quiet. Yeah. The other one went a little bit noisy after a while. Uh, but this one's really quiet, and um, see, it makes a little bit of a... Um, something for them to lick, but also it's running water in like a little pool form, so it's perfect for lapping. So I think this one will be a big hit. And we wanted to try it now before we move, so that they can get used to it. Right, we're going to try it with the lady of the house. What? Uh oh, no, Bob Oliver. Let Molly have a look. So here you go, Molly. Look. Oh, she's not interested. Not interested. Molly, come here, sweet pea. Look, what's this? Molly, look. Come here. Come here. Molly. Okay, so work has started on the garden. We've had a little bit more cut out of there so that we can get a gazebo on when it's all finished. And there's a bit more hardcore gone down. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's looking... <laughs> It's looking like it's um, going to eventually be a nice landscape garden. And we've covered up the sofa, um, because obviously we don't want it to get dusty, whilst we're still having decorating done. In the garden, everything's been marked out. And as you can see, <laughs> we're having all the hardcore tipped. And you can see the basic shape of the garden. And obviously down this entryway, we're going to have it all so it's kind of one level. So that'll all be really, really nice. So we've got the bottom patio laid out with the path and the step and we've got the patio outside the bifolds and it's all been kind of marked out ready. And here is today's HelloFresh meal. It's homemade coleslaw. We've got some wedges and a, a, what, a Sasquatch one? Szechuan. Szechuan chicken burger with some mayo. So that looks really, really yummy and delicious. Yummy. Okay, it's the evening of the day that we set up the cat fountain and we discovered, we didn't know this, it's actually got a little light on it. It's got a bit of a night light, so the cats can know where to drink when it's dark. <laughs> so it's like a little kitty night light. Um, 
both already drank from it. Rory's looked at it and Molly's looked at it, but Bo's had the biggest progress so far. Rory's looked at it and Molly's looked at it, but Bo's had the biggest progress so far. Oh, Bo's having a dusty bath. <laughs> this is how they keep their fur beautiful and shiny. <laughs> oh, yes, and Molly's just come out too. So Bo's been out for about half an hour. Just having a big sniff round and looking at the birds and all kinds of things. Hello, sweetie. What are you doing? Oh. And you. And you as well. Oh. Hey, darling. Yeah. Having a bit of outside fun in the sunshine. It's actually a really beautiful, glorious day today. The sun is shining. It's still a bit cloudy, if you look. Um, but it's really bright. I've got my hat on to protect my forehead from the sun because I do burn very easily. Um, but the cats are loving it. Rory's out too somewhere. Um, he was over on the table. But the meadow is looking beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. That is idyllic. <laughs> we do leave the dandelions because um, and obviously that head's gone to seed so it could be taken. But when it's the yellow flowers, the bees still love the yellow flowers. So we do leave tend to leave the dandelions in the meadow. The rose over here is probably going to flower very soon. You can see some buds. There we go. So that will flower very soon. Um, and yeah, that's it. We're, we're not going to do anything in the greenhouse this year because obviously I'm moving. So um, we're not going to do anything there. So I'm probably going to get a greenhouse myself. Very similar to this. Probably next year for the new house. And yes, this is a mobility scooter. <laughs> so this used to be my granddad's. Um, he passed away a little while ago now. So it's not been used for a long time. So we brought it down here. We are going to have it serviced and then we're going to sell it. So yeah, this was my granddad's. When he, when he had to give up driving, he got this. And it did him many, many years of wonderful freedom. But now it's time to get it serviced and get it sold on. Oh, Bo's rubbing his face on the washing line pole. Is that nice? Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Does that feel so good? <laughs> it looks like it feels amazing. <laughs> You've always got one eye on the birds, haven't you? Oh, look at that. Rub, rub, rub. There's a Molly behind you, look. She's down there. <laughs> did that feel better? Yes, I think it did. Come on then. Hello. And um, by the way, the noise you can hear is actually this Woodstock chimes, wind chime, and the actual um, bells that it plays is called Bells of Paradise. It's been really, really good. I've had this now about three years. I think it's roughly been... Um, it always sounds beautiful. The strings haven't worn away. So it's really, really good quality. I did actually do a full unboxing and reveal video of this up on the channel. It's actually done really, really well. So what I will do is I will leave this particular one linked in the description box below so that you can shop it as well. We finally have some bar stools, but they are the right ones but they've got a few little scratches on them, so they've got to go back. These are from Furniture Village, so the delivery guys said that we could keep these for now, although we don't need them right yet, and they will replace them with new ones. Um, but they are exactly what we wanted. They are the right colour, the right size, so very happy with those. Um, got a few things to show you outside. So this is these haven't been laid, because there's got to be sand on top, but that's the kind of configuration of the slab. And if you look, they are actually a really good kind of colour match. They're a little bit of a lighter grey. They do look and flow really, really nicely from the bifolds going out. And obviously there is a little bit of a step down onto them. It couldn't be quite um, in line because of the damp course level. Okay, I'll just show you outside. So where the markings were before, we've had it a little bit wider now because in case we do have a hot tub <laughs> or something over here, it will be able to go over there. Um, and the bit at the back is going to be kind of squared up so that it's level with the patio because the fence is obviously on a bit of a diagonal. That's our boundary. 
so it will look all lovely mm. when it's done yes and here are the slabs from outside um like i say they haven't been fixed in place but they are really lovely we do like them they're kind of um they're natural stone not concrete so they will weather really nicely and they'll just look really really good so all this area will be done in those including the path down the middle there'll be a step there so we'll be able to go woo, and the bottom patio will be done in those slabs too okay so just looking at the driveway and we've had these row of stones around the outside they're looking a lot better so um they're called cool, actually they're, the color of them is charcoal and they are pretty lovely so that's good it's all been whackered down. down so we've got a nice hard surface for the driveway okay, let's go see what's been done around here um so i don't think there's a lot more than when we were last here we've still got the slabs uh, no, I think all the work is pretty much done out the front today. So, um, yeah, we're going to go in the house and see some of the decorating. Okay, so we've got more painting in the hallway. Doesn't it look good? Oh, there's a fly buzzing. <laughs> there we go. No, it does look really, really good. So in here, it just looks really, really nice and light and bright Fresh. and airy. But it's it's the white that's got a really nice kind of warm shade to it, so it doesn't look too. It's actually the perfect shade for an older property that's been done up because it's it's warm. It's not just kind of stark and cold. No. It's actually a very nice warm colour, and it looks really really good around the cat cupboard, which has still got to have its door done. Um, I don't think there'll be that much more done upstairs, although there should have been more painting. Um, so what we've got to do at the weekend, we have to come and wash the floors. So what the decorator's going to do is he's going to hoover up all the bits of dust and stuff. And then he said to mop it. Because otherwise, if you put carpet on top of all the dust, apparently it still works its way through. So we need to give that a really, really good clean. But other than that, I think this room is pretty much done. This one in here. I think this has had its um, second and final coat. Yes. So we're looking very, very good. Okay, so today's HelloFresh is Pen Ragu Alfauna. And it does look really, really gorgeous. Now we opted to buy some extra garlic bread with it. Um, but this is what it comes with and it looks really delicious. Look at all that cheese. There's a sprinkle of chives going on. Looks delicious. We're going to go and enjoy it. Had the first kind of undercoat of the woodwork on. And uh, so obviously that's going to have a couple more undercoats and then the top coat. The skirting board at the bottom has also had um, its undercoat. So there we go. And so I think it looks really, really good. And so, so that's a little sneaky peek of what the woodwork's going to look. It just makes that door look a lot more classy. That's what I think. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Right, so we finally have our tap. It's oh. finally come. Let's check it's the right one. Should be for our um, instant yes. boiling tap. Just got all the things. Yes, there we go. So that's um, that looks like it's all present and correct, which is good. We just need the basket strainer now. The basket strainer works. Make sure that's all together. So there's our tap. Yay. Okay, so we've just slotted that in place, just temporarily to see if it fits, <laughs> and it does fit. Everything's fine. Um, so there we go. That's what the tap will look like once it's all fixed in properly and plumbed in and then so push that back. down and twist to get to the boiling water there we go so it's got a safety mechanism on it to get the boiling water lovely let's put it back in its nice box okay so here are the sleepers being fitted um just under the head and where the step is so that's looking really really good very happy with that can't wait to see it finished back at the house and there have been a few changes today there's been some woodwork and extra painting so i'm going to turn the camera around and show you bring up the stairs oh, there's also been some electricals as well um so we have a light switch which is there we also have a new light a new landing light so that's looking really gorgeous we actually had that one in the sale um if you're wondering they're from next in the uk uh, so the chain's obviously been shortened to put it for that height we have had a bit of woodwork done on our door. So this is just the undercoat. So as I've said earlier, these require two undercoats and then I think one or two of the top coats. So that's been done. We have some skirt, the same for the skirting board. This is just the undercoat. And we have 
Um, we're going to have this in the dark grey as well, which is our storage cupboard. Again, we have some more, some more switches. They're looking lovely. And again in here, um, see that one's had, I think, one, one top coat on. Um, we also have our beautiful lights. So these have been changed, not quite sure what they're called, ceiling pendants. Obviously we need to buy a shade for those. So we've got those in all the bedrooms. I don't think anything's changed in here other than the shower has properly been wired in. Um, in the bedroom, oh, we also have some wires in here. So the internet points and everything is going to be in here, including the ring doorbell. So that's the airing cupboard. Um, nothing much else. Obviously the door is going to be rehung because we had the light switch changed sides. I can't remember whether I told you earlier or not, but we did have a mix up with the slabs. They actually delivered the wrong colour slabs, so they had to get sent back and we had the new ones put in. Uh, but Landscaper is doing a really, really fantastic job. We've had the sleepers put in, as you've seen. Um, so tomorrow it's more patio work, more sleepers. Um, and like I said, we have our moving date. So <laughs> everything is looking like, it's going to be tight. Yeah, very, very tight. Very. But it's looking like we're going to kind of make it. So. Fingers crossed, everything will be good. So I'm gonna end this vlog here. In the next vlog, there will be more garden and obviously more house renovation. Yeah. I don't know how many vlogs there will be in between now and moving. So Ooh. this could be the penultimate vlog oh, before no. moving. Oh, oh yes, but oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scary. Uh, and also our kitchen island tap should be fitted tomorrow as well. Yeah. Anyway, so if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share and do all the things like subscribe, comment. So from us, to you all, and goodbye. Bye-bye.